Now that we have defined the operations on vector, let's try an example, example 1.1.4. Um, problem A, we're asked to compute 1, 2, 3 plus 4 times minus 8, 5, 6. Uh, what I'm going to do first is this operation. That multiplication has priority over um, the addition, just like it would in real numbers. So I'm going to multiply each and three entry, sorry, by four. That was a five and four times six. So I get one, two, three plus minus 32, 20, 24. And then I just add the corresponding entry. So one minus 32 is minus 31. Two plus 20 is 22. Three plus 24 is 27. And here is my answer. All right, in B, we're doing a more geometric picture. Assume that we're given the following two vectors, V and W. I want to sketch a different combination of them. So here I want V plus 2W. So let me give colors to these. I'm going to use blue for V, and I'm going to use red for W. So I want to do V first. So V is going to be in blue. So let's start over here just to make sure I have enough room. So I have V and then I want to do 2W. So 2W, remember, means W stretched. So that it has, so let's do W once, W twice. I've placed them tip to tail so that I can say, well, that total, so this is V plus W plus 2W, this purple vector here is the one I want. It's V plus 2W. So now I want W minus 3V. So I'm going to start with W, so red. And then minus 3V means you're going to stretch minus V. So I'm going to take minus V, minus V, minus V, and my vector it's going to start and end over here. So this is W minus 3V. All right. So now that we have these vector operations, I want to talk about properties um, that these operations have. So if I take three vectors in the same Rn and I take two real numbers, here I used A and B, so U, V, W for vectors, A and B for real numbers, uh, we have a lot of things that you would expect turn out to be true. So first of all, community of vector addition, whether you take U plus V or V plus U, that doesn't matter, you'll get the same thing. Um, vector addition is associative as well, so U plus V, and then you add W, that's the same thing as adding V plus W to U. So we don't really need to put parentheses here and we could just write it as U plus V plus W, which is much shorter. And then um, we have an identity. If you add zero to any vector, you get that vector back. We have inverse. In fact, we called it inverse already. For any U, you have a minus u, so that if you add them, you get zero back. Um, there's another associativity. Scalar multiplication is associative. So if you multiply u by b and then by a, it's the same thing as first multiplying a and b and then multiplying that with u. Uh, you can distribute scalar multiplication on scalar sum. So if I have a plus b here, I can multiply u in, distribute it, and I get a u plus b u. And the same thing for if the sum is in vectors, I can distribute a scalar number over a sum of vectors and get a u plus a v. And then finally, if I multiply any vector by one, I get that vector back. Now, we're not going to prove any of these properties because really, since we've defined the operation component by component, these properties are simply coming from the properties of real numbers. If you spell it out, you just use the property of real numbers on each component and 
that's all.